Hi guys, right, it is a very hot day outside, so I've decided to <laughs> film a video where I need the oven to make it even warmer in here. Now, honestly, have you seen around the, um, what are they called, upside down puff pastry things? Upside down puff pastry bites, I don't know what you want to call them. I have the feeling that they're, they're sort of going viral at the moment because I've seen them around everywhere and I've seen them in all kinds of versions, sweet, savoury, um, with lots of different um, ingredients. And the most recent one I saw was the one that appealed to me the most. Like I had seen them around, I thought, ooh, ooh, inter ooh looks easy, looks like, looks like fun to do. And ooh, maybe I'll try that. Maybe that'd be something for a YouTube video. And then a few days ago, I saw one that had bacon in it. And let's face it, Bacon makes everything better, uh, as do cinnamon and chocolate. But in this case, bacon. And I was like, okay, bacon. I've got, I've got to do the one that has bacon in it. But we are going to be making upside down, savoury upside down puff pastry bites. They're not really bites. They're bigger than bites. What are they called? I don't know. Anyway, upside down puff pastries. You need to get yourself some ready-made puff pastry, which I've cut into rectangles. I would say sort of pop tart sized and then you get whatever ingredients you want to put on them we're going to be using uh honey and or maple syrup i'm going to be testing i'm going to make a batch with honey i'm going to make a batch with with maple syrup cheddar cheese the video that i saw used mozzarella but nothing goes above cheddar so let's use cheddar <laughs> so i've got some shredded cheddar cheese bacon the star of the show and i've got an egg yolk ready for egg washing it afterwards it goes in the oven for only about 14 to 15 minutes at 180 degrees i will now preheat the oven and make it nice and warm in here but it's already 31 degrees outside <laughs> i'll turn the camera down and show you what i'm doing the puff pastry is ready i'm going to use some maple syrup bacon Cheddar, and now you grab your puff pastry and just simply, oh dear, oh dear, oh shoot, okay, plop it on top, that's all we do. Right, let's pop some egg on that. The next batch I'm going to make with honey. Right, this is the situation now. So these are the honey ones and these are the maple syrup ones. I'm going to pop these in the oven now. And if this works, if they turn out to be really delicious, this is going to be my new favourite thing, I think, because this is so easy. You can put anything in them. You can make them sweet, savoury, as I said, cheese, any kind of meats, any fruits, chocolate sauce. You can make them with anything. So this this is like the best snack. This is, I think, the perfect like film night, quick snack, fun to make for visitors. I guess you can make a upside down pastry bar for friends. Like if your friends coming around, you can have lots of ingredients, and then uh, instead of everybody um, making their own pizza, you could have everybody making their own puff pastries. I'm excited about these, and I'm intrigued to see if they deserve that excitement. So let's pop them in the oven. 15 minutes at 180 degrees. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. Whoa. Oh my goodness, you cannot imagine the smell in here. I wish, I wish, I wish you could smell what I can smell. The combination of the bacon, the cheese, and the uh, either maple syrup or maple syrup or honey. look beautiful <laughs> however i think they're gonna be very very hot so this is the maple syrup one I'm happy. Oh my days. I, don't, I think I never want to eat anything else again. 
ever. Oh, look at the cheese. These are so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I can't, mm, okay. This is one with honey. Let's see how this one is. Mm. Mm. I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't want to stop eating. Honestly, make these. If you enjoy everything that's on here, like me. Like if you like maple syrup honey, if you like bacon, if you like cheese, try these, trust me. Try these, you will not regret it. And thank me later. Write down in the comments, thank you, Carolyn. You know, amazing. Oh my God. Look at the color of this. I mean, look, whoopsie. Look at that. I do not regret this at all. And I'm sweating my head off like it's still 31 degrees outside. It's hot in the kitchen because the oven was on. I don't regret this. <laughs> I couldn't care less how hot it was. <laughs> They're so delicious. So off you go and go make some. And if you try them with some with some other ingredients like Nutella or fruits or anything like that, let me know how they are as well, how they turn out as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and honestly go and make some. Go and get yourself the ingredients and make some. Get some puff pastry, get some bacon, get some cheese, get some uh, maple syrup or honey or anything and go make some. They're, they're really quick and they're really, really, really delicious. Go make some. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Subscribe if you enjoyed and take care, stay happy, stay healthy.